Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to do a yarn review on um, Red Heart Dreamy Yarn. Now this isn't an extremely new yarn, but in case you've maybe seen it online or in the stores and you were reluctant to buy it, um, I'm going to go over a little bit about it so maybe you can make a better, more informed decision. Now remember, these are only my opinions, uh, just what I feel about it. So my opinions might be different differ from other other people's and also my yarn reviews are sponsored by no one I buy this yarn myself I do not get paid for my yarn reviews and I do not have affiliate links to anything so therefore if I ever leave a link in my video to where you could find this yarn I don't get paid or compensated if you buy the yarn from them it's just a regular red heart link I don't I'm not affiliated with them I'm not affiliated with any yarn company at all. Just me. I like it that way. I keep it that way. That way I can say whatever I want. So that being said, just remember they're just my my reviews, my opinions on what I think about this yarn. So we'll go over it here. Um, Red Heart Dreamy. Now let's see. It does come with a free pattern. And it is a 100% acrylic. It says to machine wash and dry. And it's classified as a medium bore weight. Now I do want to... Uh, it is made in Turkey. Um, now, about the medium four weight. There is something about Dreamy that uh, it comes in solid and it also comes in stripes. Now, as you can see, this one says it's a bulky five. Sometimes these solids will say, instead of a medium four, sometimes it'll say a bulky five. Um, I honestly think that is a mistake made in the factory that they have never fixed. If you look on their website, their website will say it's a bulky five. I, uh, when you look at it, <clears throat> I would classify it as myself a thinner bulky five. So I would say them saying that it's a four way, I think that's the mistake on it. And I've noticed this because I've used Dreamy quite a bit. Um, I have a few tutorials that I've used Dreamy. And some of them have said four weight. And some of them had said five. And I think when it says four weight that that is a mistake. Um, that it is a bulky five yarn. So as you can see it is very fuzzy. And I think the fuzziness of it is what is making it a, a bulky five. Honestly. It's very soft yarn, but you can see it's very fuzzy, but it's nice. Now these solids have 466 yards and they're available in seven different colors. It's been out for a while and they've never had any new colors. It's always been those seven. And then they came out with the stripes later, 355 yards and the stripes and there's eight colors of the stripes. Now all the colors are pretty on, I, th I think, on solids and stripes. I think they're all pretty, but they are a limited number. There's not a lot of them. So like I said, it's very soft. Um, it's not itchy. You might see that fuzz and think that it's itchy, but it's not. Um, it doesn't if you pull on it, it's going to shed, but it doesn't really shed while you're crocheting with it or nothing. So you don't have to, while you're wearing it, um, you know, it won't shed. But it is extremely fuzzy, and if you pull on it, that fuzz will come off. Now, it does say machine wash and dry. Now, like I said, I made several, I've made a few things out of this. And I made a baby blanket for my daughter out of, out of it. And I don't normally put stuff in the wash but I did put the blanket into the washing machine and then I dried it and I can tell you that it does uh, pile um, up it doesn't look as nice 
coming out of the washer and dryer as it did when it was first crocheted. It doesn't look bad, but these just kind of knot up. And I figured that it would. I think maybe if I hand washed it, it wouldn't have done it quite as bad. Um, but yeah, it does do that if you put it into the washer. But go ahead and now I crocheted a little bit. I recommend a hook size, I think, because stripes say six millimeters, solids say, f yeah, six millimeter on both of them. No, six and a half. I'm sorry. That's a six millimeter knitting needle six and a half on crochet well i got a six in my hand and i crocheted a bit with it now there is nothing at all wrong with the way that it crochets it actually crochets fine you can see my little swatch here it doesn't really uh i mean it glides fine it doesn't uh get hung up on the fuzz or anything so you can see that it crochets very easily now taking it apart is another story because that fuzz is going to get hung up on itself. I know this from experience from crocheting with this before. But yeah, see it crochets rather smoothly. Very, I think it's very pretty. Good things to make with this. Let's see, I've made a baby blanket. Um, I've made a toddler dress. I've made a toddler poncho. Um, I'll put those pictures right now on the screen. I'll put links below to those tutorials in case you're interested in making them. But those are the things that I have made out of the Dreamy. I like the Dreamy yarn myself. I don't have a problem with it. So, like I said, it's good for the dresses. It's good for ponchos, blankets. I think it's pretty much scarves, hats, anything that you really want to make out of it. But I wouldn't use it really for summer projects because it's so fuzzy. It's not really an extremely lightweight yarn. So any winter project, I don't think that you would have a problem making something with it. It's nice and soft. You can wear it around your neck. You can tell, you see my daughter's wearing that dress and I made her in it. No problem. So, but pulling apart, it's not extremely hanging up. It don't hang up on itself extremely too bad, but it does sometimes hang up on itself. Now it's going to prove me wrong. Well, it's not doing it now. What do you know? But I can tell you that it does hang up on itself sometimes every once in a while this one's not really doing it bad it's making me look like a liar but <laughs> but it does it does do that see there we go but it's not so so bad that you can't stand it i didn't i mean you see i made a few things out of it so it wasn't bad enough that i couldn't uh, stand it or anything um but sometimes the skeins are fuzzier than others as you can see this blue one I have is extremely, extremely fuzzy. And that's going to hang up on itself. See, I don't know why it's like that. I noticed that in a store, some of them are way fuzzier than others. Maybe they just got rubbed up against other ones a lot. I don't know. But but it does hang up. No, but not extremely bad enough that you're going to really... I don't think it's going to be problematic. Um, so price-wise, I find them pretty much find them. Uh, dreamy anywhere that you want. Um, I've seen it on the internet in between seven and nine dollars, and that goes for the stripes in the solids. Um, now remember, stripes are always going to have a little bit less yarn, 355, and these are bulky five, even though it does say four. Um, and this is 466. Seven to nine dollars for 466 yards of bulky five. It's a nice big skein. I don't like to pay full price, and I'm sure none of you do either, so I'm going to say that I won't pay that. I bought all of my Dreamy half price with uh, 40 and 50% coupons when I had them at Michael's or Joann's. So 5 or $6, I think, is, is, is a pretty good price for the amount of yardage that you get, considering it is a bulky five. Um... I mean, I actually think five or six dollars is, it's really fair. It's a real fair price. Um, if you compare them to other bulky fives, they don't have that much yardage. So, I mean, 
if I needed it really bad, I might pay seven. But um, why would you though, when you can always get it at half price, you know what I mean? It's always okay to wait for a sale. There ain't nothing wrong with that. So that being said, I'll always try to get it at half price. I don't like to pay full price. So, But if I had to, couldn't find it on sale and I really needed it, I think, I think $7 is fair for it considering the amount of yardage that's in it. So there's not really anything bad I can say about the Red Heart Dreamy. Um, like I said, I've used it several times. I've never had a problem with it. The, co um, the colors are always, you know, they're bright and pretty. The consistency is nice. It's, it doesn't, other than the fuzziness, I mean, the consistency of the yarn underneath the fuzziness is consistent. It doesn't get from, it don't go from short to thin or anything. Or thick to thin or anything. The striping effect on the stripes are nice and um, pretty long, um, depending on the stitch that you use. Um, so they're always it's always pretty. So I really don't have a problem with the Red Heart Dreamy. As you can see, I, I have it here. I bought it again to use it. I've used it several times, and I'll continue to buy it again whenever I see it. There's a few more colors I'd like to get. I think it makes great projects for the fall and winter time. They just look, it looks like a really uh, nice yarn when your project's done. It looks like a nice project. It's a nice quality yarn. So, um, yeah, I can't say nothing bad about it. Not, not nothing. It's just, it's a, it's a good quality yarn. I think Red Heart did really good with this one. Um, they don't think there's anything I would really change about it. They probably need to get that, uh, their tagging issue fixed because that really confuses a lot of people especially when I do tutorials and I have one that says that it's a five and then some of them has one that says it's a four you know they're always asking me questions but yes it is a, it is classified as a bulky five if you look on their website you will see that these are just printing errors and they've never fixed them I don't know why um hopefully they do that sometime but other than that yeah it's a good deal it's a it's a I don't know why that light wasn't on um, it's a good deal, a uh, killer deal, five or six dollars, seven dollars. I'd even buy it because there's quite a bit of yardage in here. Um, I think I made, I make a baby blanket. It might have took one and a half of these maybe, and then I edged it with some white. I'm not, I don't quite remember, but it doesn't take. I mean, they're big enough skeins that you can get something. Even the stripes at 355 yards, you can make a nice scarf and a hat set up with that. So. Um, yeah, if you're wanting to know the color, this one's mountaintop. I thought it was so pretty. And this one's aqua. So, I'm sure many of you have used this. You know what I'm going to ask. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Dreamy, that if you've used it. I'm sure, you know, because it has been out for a while. Um, did you like it? Did you think that it hung up quite a bit? Um, well, you know, tell me what's your thoughts on it. Now, if you haven't used it, I always recommend just trying out one skein, preferably if you can get it at Michael's or Joanne's half price. If not, um, maybe look on the internet. They sell it cheaper other places. Um, give it a try. Tell me what you think about it. If you look on redheart.com, you'll see all the colors that they offer. Remember, there's seven solids and there are eight stripes. All of them are, are pretty. I mean, there wasn't any of them that I really didn't like. So, uh, yeah, that's my review. I give Red Heart Dreamy a thumbs up. Um, I've never had a problem with it the whole time. I mean, all the times that I've used it. I always continue to buy it, and I will continue to buy it. So, I really like it. It is a good yarn for me. So, that's my review. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.